Hi there and happy holidays. My name is Maggie Dillon. I'm a PIA Laos alum and the executive director of Princeton in Asia. I hope that this message finds you and your loved ones safe and healthy during these difficult times. I really wish we could gather for an in-person Bonin Kai to close the books on 2020 and to look ahead to much better things to come in 2021. But since we can't, and since PIA is all about stepping outside of your comfort zone, here I am coming to you in video form. This is definitely giving me flashbacks to putting together my PIA app video 11 years ago, stumbling over the pronunciations of all the places I was desperate to go, and worrying if my hair looked good. At least some things never change. I know that we're all ready for the day when we refer to 2020 in hindsight, but if you'll indulge me, I did want to take a brief moment to say thank you for all that you've contributed to PIA during the past year, a year like no other in our history. As I reflect on this year and how we were able to get through it, two things come to mind, interdependence and serving one's community. These are two of the most important learnings we hope fellows will take away from their experiences. And these are two values that we saw our community fully embody this year. We wouldn't be where we are today without the tireless efforts and extraordinary generosity of our entire PIA family. I'm grateful for our team who worked around the clock to bring our fellows safely home last spring and who have skillfully adapted to new roles and circumstances. I'm grateful for our trustees and advisors who have made PIA a priority in these unprecedented circumstances. The words above and beyond do not capture their commitment. I'm grateful for our alumni who have put their hands up to organize, engage, and support the alumni community and who are investing their time, energy, and expertise to make PIA a better institution. I'm grateful for our partners who have shown us grace and flexibility as we chart a new course forward together. And I'm grateful that you continue to keep PIA in your thoughts and in your plans at a time of such uncertainty, hardship, and loss. We are grateful for each and every contribution in whatever form it takes, and we take none of it for granted. There are undoubtedly more challenges ahead, but we remain hopeful about the possibilities that 2021 will bring. Can we meet the moment? Yes, we can, La. We launched our first remote fellowship in Singapore last month, and we'll be launching more early next year. We have over 550 applicants who are eager to be PIA fellows in whatever shape the fellowships take, remote, in-person, or hybrid. We're also using this time to strengthen the organization to better serve all the members of our intergenerational PIA family, from fellows and summer interns to alumni, partners, staff, and volunteers. And we're engaging in a strategic planning process to chart a vision and roadmap for a post-COVID PIA. Whatever comes, we will remain firmly rooted in our mission and values and flexible to adapt to the circumstances. Every year, PIA relies on the generosity of our wonderful intergenerational community to drive us forward. If you're in a position to consider making a financial contribution to PIA, I invite you to make a gift to help us send the next class of fellows into the field. They will carry forward in new and exciting ways and in unprecedented circumstances, our important mission of fostering goodwill and understanding between the US and Asia. They'll be doing so at a time when the values of humility, interdependence, and serving one's community could not be more important. Thank you again so much for your support. As I leave you, I want to express on behalf of PIA deepest condolences and sympathies to all those in our family who have experienced loss, sickness, and hardship during this period. And I want to thank all those PIAs working in healthcare and other essential roles for your service to society in this pandemic. Your selflessness and sacrifice are an example to us all. To everyone in the PIA family, I wish you and your loved ones good health and good comfort this holiday season, and I wish you all good things in the new year. Take good care and mask up.